Leonardo da Vinci quotes. Learning never exhausts the mind. Nothing strengthens authority so much as silence. There are three classes of people, those who see, those who see when they are shown, those who do not see. I love those who can smile in trouble, who can gather strength from distress, and grow brave by reflection. Tis the business of little minds to shrink, but they whose heart is firm, and whose conscience approves their conduct, will pursue their principles unto death. Tears come from the heart and not from the brain. A beautiful body perishes, but a work of art dies not. I have been impressed with the urgency of doing. Knowing is not enough, we must apply. Being willing is not enough, we must do. Nature is the source of all true knowledge. She has her own logic, her own laws, she has no effect without cause nor invention without necessity. While I thought that I was learning how to live, I have been learning how to die. Iron rusts from disuse, water loses its purity from stagnation. Even so does inaction sap the vigor of the mind. Intellectual passion drives out sensuality. It's easier to resist at the beginning than at the end. Our life is made by the death of others. The beginnings and ends of shadow lie between the light and darkness and may be infinitely diminished and infinitely increased. Shadow is the means by which bodies display their form. The forms of bodies could not be understood in detail but for shadow. He who is fixed to a star does not change his mind. Who sows virtue, reaps honor. Blinding ignorance does mislead us. Oh! Wretched mortals, open your eyes. In rivers, the water that you touch is the last of waters past and the first of that which comes, so with present time. He who wishes to be rich in a day will be hanged in a year. There are four powers, memory and intellect, desire and covetousness. The two first are mental and the others sensual. The three senses, sight, hearing and smell cannot well be prevented, touch and taste not at all. Why does the eye see a thing more clearly in dreams than the imagination when awake?
Just as courage imperils life, fear protects it. The human bird shall take his first flight, filling the world with amazement, all writings with his fame, and bringing eternal glory to the nest whence he sprang. Science is the captain, and practice the soldiers. Although nature commences with reason and ends in experience it is necessary for us to do the opposite, that is to commence with experience and from this to proceed to investigate the reason. You can have no dominion greater or less than that over yourself. Common sense is that which judges the things given to it by other senses. The mind of the painter must resemble a mirror, which always takes the color of the object it reflects and is completely occupied by the images of as many objects as are in front of it. For, verily, great love springs from great knowledge of the beloved object, and if you little know it, you will be able to love it only little or not at all. The human foot is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. If your wife slept with another man, she has already sinned and will no longer return to being faithful. The greatest deception men suffer is from their own opinions. As a well-spent day brings happy sleep, so a life well spent brings happy death. Marriage is like putting your hand into a bag of snakes in the hope of pulling out an eel. He who loves practice without theory is like the sailor who boards ship without a rudder and compass and never knows where he may cast. Anyone who conducts an argument by appealing to authority is not using his intelligence, he is just using his memory. To such an extent does nature delight and abound in variety that among her trees there is not one plant to be found which is exactly like another, and not only among the plants but among the boughs, the leaves and the fruits, you will not find one which is exactly similar to another. Just as food eaten without appetite is a tedious nourishment, so does study without zeal damage the memory by not assimilating what it absorbs. Where the spirit does not work with the hand, there is no art. The noblest pleasure is the joy of understanding. Art is never finished, only abandoned. Thank you for watching. Let us know your favorite quotes. Comment down below and subscribe to our channel.